ordered something online, had a problem, and then couldn't get your money back. Yeah, some of you had let Joe know how difficult it is to track down Internet businesses. Tonight, investigator Joe Ducey tells you what he thinks about that lack of customer service. Hi, I'm Joe Ducey, a reporter with ABC 15 in Phoenix, and I'm calling about a consumer who didn't get a full refund. Sir, I would like to help. Can I have your order number? I have the consumer's order number. Sir, I need your order number. I didn't order anything. I'm with a television station trying to help someone who did. Let me speak to your supervisor. He's going to tell you the same thing. I don't care. Transfer me. I had that conversation recently with a customer service agent for an internet sales business. They were selling a health supplement, but it could have been an age-defying cream or a weight loss product. The guy I was trying to help ordered a green tea product online, didn't want it, sent it back, but the business kept a $40 restocking fee never mentioned in the ad. I'm seeing people signing up for free trial periods, yet being charged monthly because they supposedly didn't properly cancel. Just try to get your money back. These companies hide. If they've got a business name, you can't find it. There's no address to drive to. The only phone number this green tea site gives is the number for the helpful person I talked with earlier. My advice, stay away from these flashy sites, no matter how low the price is. If you must go there, search the web address for complaints online before sharing your credit card information. As for the guy I'm helping, I used the free site whois.net and found the web address connected to a couple of phone numbers. My fear is when I call, I'll hear the same guy asking, what is your order number? Go to abc15.com slash let Joe know for the latest scams. Need my help? Call me, email me, or find me on Facebook or Twitter. I'm investigator Joe Ducey. If you've got a problem, let me know. Thank <laughs> you.